Do you know why woman can is was even made? Do you know why somebody even considered to fund a film with a dark skinned woman? Do you know why? Black Panther. If Black Panther did not succeed, there is no chance in hell any studio is bankrolling a film starring dark skinned woman. And the only chance we're gonna get of having the story of the Haitian people, story of the Benin Empire, story of the Abyssinian Empire, story of the Zulus, the only way we can have that happen, maybe the real history of the Congolese the history of what the Belgians did to the Congolese, the only way we can have these stories told is if this does well. you got to play the long game. you got to play the long game. So let me just tell you the whole tra trajectory. When I first saw The Woman King, I follow Vala Davis on Instagram. She is, I believe she's one of the best actors in the world. Currently, she's one of the best actors in the world. So anything she's doing, I'm going there. For me, I just think she is an outstanding, outstanding actor. You know, so I don't, I don't for me, I don't put like actor, actress. For me, I put Vala Davis right now in the same category as a Joaquin Phoenix, as a Denzel. And those, I, I mean, I feel the best actors right now in terms of just like bang for your buck where you know they're going to deliver. Joaquin Phoenix, Denzel, Vala Davis. I think those are pretty much like them. Those, those, those are the only guys who I say, no, you go to any films with these people, they're going to say what's up. I know, of course, Gary Oldman, like Gary Oldman, like, stand up. You know, Gary Oldman is, is that guy. So I was like, oh, oh, one woman came up there. I'm there, I'm there, I'm there, I'm there, I'm there, I'm there. And it comes out on my, on my birthday, you know, where I am. So then I then hear... Boy calls woman king. I was like, oh god, what is this whole stuff? Then he then see that oh, the Dahomey Kingdom or the Dahomey Wars, they were involved in the slave trade of trying to capture Africans to pretty much sell them off um, to Europeans because you know it was during the time it was profitable to pretty much you know sell off slaves and you know, you get something in exchange of of selling off these um slaves. So people say, don't know, you have to boycott this because they don't have dresses. They're trying to Hollywood. That is the whole story and just Disney fights and so forth. And I was like, okay, I mean, um, fine, man. I mean, yeah, th that's it. And when I heard that, I was like, okay, yeah, that's that's pretty crazy. If you don't even address that, that's pretty crazy. And this is why it's very important just not to read stuff on the internet. If they never addressed this, I'm like, okay, now that's that's just messed up. Now, I haven't seen the movie, but I've seen interviews because I just watched an interview with the filmmakers and I said, that's no, they do address it now. How they address it, we'll go and see. See, if they didn't address it, I wouldn't even go on and watch it. No, that's messed up. Now, the fact that they address it, I'm like, good. Let me now make up my mind as a viewer to see when I go and watch it, how they address it. And then I'll then say, well, I know you address it, but you could have addressed it this way, you could address it this way. But let's, but let's be go and actually make, make it up myself rather than just going via this whole, oh, boycott, 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 when you're giving me some information that, I, that says that they didn't address it. Put that to one side. Even if they don't address it properly. Black people, you got to play the long game. you got to be wise. This film has to succeed. Because how are we going to hear the story about the Edo King Kingdom? How are you going to hear the story about... Because I was reading about... I think there's... Because I'm from Nigeria. So that's... So, so, so from my dad's side, my dad is from Benin. And that is where, like, the Benin, Edo, King, King, the Edo people come from. So the, the, the Benin kingdom, which is where my dad is from, that's where his tribe is from. Those are the guys who uh, had the bronze carvings and had a massive empire in Benin. So how do we hear stories about the Benin King, King kingdom if this film doesn't do well? How do we hear stories about a safe haven against slaves that I think was in one of the places of Abayakuta, which is a place in Nigeria as well? How do we hear about the Abyssinian King kingdom? How do we hear stories about the Zulu tribe? Not just that bomber Zulu film that's with Michael Caine, but the actual Zulu people and their kings. How do we hear these stories if this doesn't do well? So this needs to do well so we can hear more African stories about African kings, African kingdoms. How, if this doesn't do well, how do we hear the story of when the Haitians successfully rose up and fought against those that tried to enslave them? I think that was the only kind of successful um, deterrent against um, slavery where it was a Haitian uprising, something I found out reading Malcolm X's autobiography. 
if this doesn't do well, how do we get those stories? The reason, do you know why Woman King is, was even made? Do you know why somebody even considered to fund a film with a dark-skinned woman? Do you know why? Black Panther. If Black Panther did not succeed, there is no chance in hell any studio is bankrolling a film starring dark-skinned woman. Can I have a white lady? Can I have a blonde lady? Can I have a Margot Robbie? Can I have a Brad, a Brad Pitt? Can I have a DiCaprio? Without a DiCaprio, Margot Robbie, or Brad Pitt, I'm not funding women that's just full of those dark-skinned black women. No, I need a Halle Berry. I need a... Um, I need someone of that of that ilk. I need what's it called? Um, Google Umbotharo. I need a light skinned chick, or I need a white chick. <laughs> I'm not funding even with dark skinned women. So the only reason this was made was because of Black Panther. And the only reason and the only chance we're gonna get of having the story of the Haitian people, story of the Benin Empire, story of the Abyssinian Empire, story of the Zulus. The only way we can have that happen, maybe the real history of the Congolese. The history of what the Belgians did to the Congolese, the only way we can have these stories told is if this does well. <laughs> okay? So, you so stop. So, so, so you have to play the long game. Even if it's like, oh, no, no, they, they didn't address everything's wrong and everything. You have to play the long game. You have to be wise. So you have to just suck it up as much as you... And I know the anger you will have of like, okay, they sold them into slavery. They didn't talk about this. You have to... Because what is what is the main goal? What is the main goal? To have more things like Black Panthers. To have more things that empower young black people. To have those stories that we didn't have as kids. When I was growing up, I didn't have a Black Panther. I didn't have a woman king. All I saw were white people. <laughs> there was no black hero to look up to when I was growing up. But the 15-year-old or the 14-year-old, they, they, they have Black Panther. They have Boom Woman King. And who knows what else they could potentially have. So... Let us try and give our young selves stuff that we didn't have that we wished we had. <laughs> you know, you've got to play the long game, guys. You have to play the freaking long game, which is why, because this comes out on my birthday where I am, and of course I'm going to go and see it. Now, I may have critics as to how you could have delved in more to how Africans or other Africans into the slave trade, you could have really embellished that a, a, a bit more. I, and we, who knows? Because I don't. Because let me see what they say, and I'll fully click critique it. Also, man, a Valdez Davis movie is coming out. It looks like that's an angle to watch it. Are you sick? Because on my freaking birthday, man. So of course I'm putting on a view, man. So, um, you have to just be wise about this thing because I know what I want. You know, I love watching all sorts of films, medieval films, history. I love because I love history. So I love seeing medieval history, Nordic, Nordic history, South American history, but. but I'm tired of just seeing history from one perspective. I've seen enough medieval films. Hence why I loved watching Apocalypto. Because Apocalypto was like, oh, wow. They really don't know, but these people cool. I want to see the history of the Aborigines. <laughs> Forget that Australia crap and so forth. I want to see the history of the Aboriginal pe people. I want to see more Chinese history, more, more Japanese history, more the history. But specifically, I want to see more history about the continent that I'm from. You know, my dream, if I've had my dream is to... Do an epic story about the Benin Kingdom, the rise and fall of the Benin Kingdom from its inception to the different kings to how it fell. That's that is my dream project to do that's a Benin Kingdom story. Um but beyond that, Abyssinians, the Haitians, the Zulus, all the people in Africa, Egypt, Egypt, ancient Egypt that doesn't have white people turning their freaking skin, man. So yeah, man, you've got to play the long game, guys.